Leo. This is going to be a love reading for you. This is for anyone who has Leo in their chart. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What does Leo need to know for their highest good? And only their highest good. What does Leo need to know for their love situation? Oh. Wow, we have a lot of new energy. <clears throat> Each one of these cards represents beginning stages of something. So, you could be getting into a new relationship. I want one more card. One more card for Leo. I don't know why I'm picking up two kids. I don't know if two kids are involved. But I see possibly a conversation coming in that could lead into a, a relationship or clarity about a connection. I think they're curious on what a future with you would look like. So they're coming in to talk. What can you tell me about the Ace of Swords? <clears throat> this could be a connection that you're stressing about. <laughs> Two of Cups, the Chariot, and the Nine of Swords. Or someone could just be stressing out about having this conversation because they do feel a strong connection with you. Could be, could involve a Cancer. Doesn't have to though. Could be soulmate connection. Two cups usually is my soulmate. Um, like love card. <clears throat> page of wands. Why is page of wands here? Oh, so they could, you know, be traveling. I don't know if they live at a distance from you. Because that could be the two of wands also with the chariot here it talks about traveling to come see you um or if that's not if that's not it then it's just them moving forward to come have that conversation with you page of wands why is page of wands here Seven of Swords. He keeps popping out in every reading. Huh. So. Oh, I see. I see what's going on. Again, travel. You might live at a distance from you. Now, I feel like this conversation is going to happen in secret. Now, I don't know if this is you or them, but somebody is with somebody else possibly or stuck within a situation. And <clears throat> whatever that situation or connection is needs to end in order to move forward with this connection. So 
there's a lot of secrecy around this conversation. So this might be, you know, an inclination that um, the conversation might be around, like, asking the person if they feel the same, if the feelings are mutual before they make any any moves. Because we have a lot of um, death in the world, which is ending. Six of Swords can be travels and moving on from something that no longer serves you. Uh, Ace of Wands, what can you tell me about the Ace of Wands? Oh, yeah. This new beginning, whatever this new situation is, it's going to bring happiness. I feel like that is what you you want. Um, it's emotional satisfaction. You know, it's the the sun is the happiest card, but the Ten of Cups is like the ultimate emotional happiness. Queen of Swords. The Sun. Okay, so that's just confirmation from Spirit. You know, it is whatever this new connection, this new beginning is going to bring happiness. There is a sense of staying logical about it, which I find a little weird because usually when you're talking about love, you tend to think and act from your heart space rather than your mind. But for whatever reason, there is a need to be a little logical about the situation whether that's in regards to how you have the conversation or not, I don't really, I don't really know. Page of Pentacles, why is the Page of Pentacles here? Conflict. Justice and Ten of Wands. So again, there's conversation that could start a fight. But in the end, it's bringing an ending, which will bring in balance for you. So I don't know if this is a separate conversation. Um, justice is also Libra energy, if that resonates. Two of Wands. What can you tell me about the Two of Wands? Oh gosh, that was just like half the deck. I'm not going to take these because... It was literally a wop. Five of Cups. So this might be a past person that you've been stuck on. Could have had a something disappointing happen within the connection in the past. That might be why you're a little hesitant. I mean, I don't really see... I think the only part that I see you might be hesitant is just the fact that you're secretly having this conversation with somebody before you move on from something else. Or this is what they're doing to you. Oh gosh. I just 
fell on the floor. Knight of Cups. So even though there's disappointment in the past, I still see movement forward. Um, and it's move it, movement in love. You know, so it looks like they're coming in to have the conversation and offer love. So I think it's, it's, looks like it's a good match. Um, there just needs to be a conversation and I think it's coming in soon. So we have Cancer, we have Leo, Scorpio, Libra, Aquarius, I said Scorpio, Leo, Taurus. Um, trying to think if there's anything else the spirit wants me to relay. I think that's it. So I hope this brought some clarity and guidance for you. And I'll see you in the next one. Love ya.